Hello everybody, welcome to the latest video. We have, courtesy of Games Workshop, the new Kill Team Nightmare box. We've got, uh, this video is going to be all about the Drakari, but obviously the box has Night Lords and the Mandrakes in here. Uh, it's right up my street, I'm a massive horror fan, so uh, obviously I have a Night Lords army, and obviously I have a Drakari army. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have a look at the Mandrakes in this one, so we're going to have a flick through, flick through the instructions, see what the instructions are like. Um, and have a look at the sprues themselves. Now, as I say, I do have a Drakari army, the uh, the Cabal of the Shadow Phoenixes, uh, which are, I, I really like them, they're, they're coming out really, really well, and these will be a perfect addition to that, especially because um, we get 10. So we get uh, two lots of the sprues, so we get 10 Mandrakes, two units of five for 40k, or you can obviously use them uh, in the kill team as well. And... Uh, the sprues themselves are looking fantastic as always. The uh, Games Workshop are constantly pushing, constantly, constantly improving, and uh, and just the sprues and plastics quality that's coming out of them is just incredible. So this is these ones are no exceptions uh, either. We've got the uh, the bodies are broken down into fronts and backs, and then you've got the heads and then the arms separate. The uh, the the heads are actually like the faces, so it looks like all the all the heads will be interchangeable uh, onto the onto the torsos, and we're going to check later on as well to make sure and see if uh, all the arms kind of fit in as well, and you can kind of swap all the arms over. So I, I'm pretty sure they can, just with a quick look. Um, I'm pretty sure they can. Um, so there's a couple of things in here which I really really like. There's a couple of things in here that I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, the the faces are phenomenal. I really really like the faces. Let's have a quick zoom in so that we can have a little look, a better look through the sprue themselves. We'll get our little pointer here as well. So we've got some faces around here. Some of the faces are, as you can see, just very, very cool. They've got, like, that, that one hasn't got, a, hasn't got a mouth. Uh, we've got the screaming one here. We've got another one with no mouth over on this side. They're just proper creepy. Proper creepy. Uh, really, really cool. Um, the arms have these tattoo engravings in them which look really good and then there's there's quite a lot of this flame that's going around here uh, I, I do like the flames i think the flames are going to be very very good we're going to be able to play around with some some interesting object source lighting uh, when we're when we're painting these so we can make these glow and have a little bit of um uh, light cast on the rest of the model and uh, when we're painting them so that'll be really really cool um one of the things that i'm not a big fan of i don't really like these these started coming out with the Knight stuff, the Knight Shadow Stalkers from, from Age of Sigmar and Warcry. And you can see we've got a little bit of a stress line there as well already. But uh, yeah, I don't really like these. I, they're, they're Mainly because they're very, very difficult to kind of know how to paint. Like, what is it? Is I, I, I know it's a kind of supposed to be like a shadow that's that's engulfing or they're, they're moving out of the shadow. But yeah, it's, a, it's, it's one of those things that's quite difficult to know how to paint. So ultimately, I'm not a big fan of those. And the other thing is these are uh, supposed to be like flesh skirts they're supposed to be made of flesh I, at least i believe that's the point of them because they've got like stitching on here so i think these are like flesh skirts that they're wearing um but i've <laughs> i've never seen flesh being quite so um pointed <laughs> it's like the, the creases are so sharp so uh yeah that's 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 a bit of a weird a weird uh, decision for me uh, to make uh, to make the front uh, to make the creases so so sharp and pointed uh, maybe we can just kind of go along and just kind of just sand them down a little bit but i don't think it's going to make that much of a different that much of a problem uh, but uh, yeah the the flames coming off all the hands i think are going to be really really cool there's a real nice variety of all the different weapons in here as well uh, so you've got these swords you've also got these phenomenal looking sickles i'm going to try and get as many of those sickles as i can on the uh, squads uh, you get two per sprue so that means you can get four in a squad because you get two lots of sprues um so yeah these these are just just really really cool there is i think there is a double handed sword yeah there we go so we've got a double handed sword here as well which is on fire and and uh, yeah they're just looking really really cool so we will be clipping some of these out uh, the, there is one that has a tactical rock uh, which is rather nice uh, again the the heads here just super super creepy i did uh, a similar thing with uh, necron flayed ones when i converted my flayed ones and um, i made them 
with no eyes uh, and uh, and uh, used some of the uh, Necron heads and, and uh, converted them to have no eyes. And it's just removing anthropomorphic things like that just properly makes them freaky. Uh, anyway, very, very cool. Awesome. Uh, the, the lovely blind one here. It's a reminiscent of the, uh, the new... Uh, crow elf um for age of sigmar she's amazing i need to get uh, my hands on her as well uh, but uh, yeah very very nice and in terms of we always like to or i always like to kind of run through the sprue and just have a quick check uh in terms of the order of operations for for clipping things out there are some of these here let's just zoom in a little bit better so that you can see here we go so there are some of these flames here that you'll see have got quite a large gate so when you are clipping that out, there's going to be quite a lot of movement and stress uh, on this joint here. So I would probably, I would probably clip on this this situation here. Like normally, I would say, okay, clip clip the the delicate bit out first. But on this this particular one, I would clip the arm first because uh, it's a smaller gate um, and it's probably got a little bit more flex across the whole uh, the whole arm here rather than clipping this one out here. If you clip this one out here. Um, the well, I'll show you quickly as you clip uh, and these ones are very very thin and very fine but as you clip uh, because I've got to go all the way in there I'm going to be moving moving that quite a long way um, because it's going to be being pushed by the uh, by the nippers so I would clip this one out first like that and watch there's not going to be that much movement so there's no stress there and then you can clip out all of that so that's quite a large gate look how much it's moving as i'm clipping it so that would have put uh, a bit of stress on uh, the arm when we're clipping things out like that so i would just check when we're going through and having a look at these i would always try and clip the flames out first because the flames are the the uh, the delicate bit the fragile bit but just check on the size of the gate that gate's not too bad so you'll probably be all right with that one that gate, for instance, that one's huge. That's a huge gate because it's quite thick as well. Um, so for that gate, I would, mm, I'd, I'd, you'd probably be all right clipping that one out first on that gate. Um, and then these torsos will be fine. I'd just clip out the the, the head first because we don't really want to kind of put any, uh, any stress marks on that as we're clipping that out because then we're going to have to clean that up afterwards. Um, and let's have a quick look on the other sprue. Uh, heads and hairs. Uh, clip this one out first so that we can clip that um, and then yeah there we go so we've got we've got on this one here we've got the flame flame there and then that there but look at the size of the gate the gate on that one is is tiny so that's the one that you clip out first clip that out first and then you clip the uh, clip the arm uh, and all these kind of little difference the, the the order that you clip things out is just to try and stop um, any where's the one that's got the strain there we go so you want to try and stop this kind of stress marks um, on appearing on uh, on models because it just makes them weaker uh, and um, it's just little things to try to do as you're clipping things out um, again this this one here that's quite a tricky one so this one I will show you this one now I would clip this one here to start with but I clip it way away from uh, from the gate and then clip that one there and then once you've done that, you can then go back in and clip that one out there. Because now, now I'm not putting any pressure on, not putting any pressure on anything uh, as I'm clipping it. So then that can be cleaned up uh, with a knife, nice and easily. So just just be careful on how you're clipping some of these things out because there are there are some interesting little whoops there are some interesting little kind of um, gates going on with these. But uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get to building one of these. We're going to build uh, We're going to build a couple of torsos uh, and then we're going to try all the different arms, uh, well, a handful of different arms just to see uh, if they all kind of, um, uh, if they all fit. So I think they are going to, um, looking, at, looking at most of the joins, looking at most of the registrations, they all look reasonably similar. So I'm hopeful that they're all going to fit, uh, but we will see. Uh, there we go. Let's just find one of those creepy faces again just before we go. I think the creepy faces are on this one. Uh, where are they? I've lost the creepy faces. Creepy faces are gone. There we go. There's a creepy face. Absolutely brilliant. Right. And then the sequel is just phenomenal. 
Right, uh, let's get <laughs> let's get clipping away. One of the issues that I spoke about in the uh, in the kind of the intro and the and the um, the review and the so we've cleaned up all the parts. Uh, but one of the things that I spoke about in the kind of the walkthrough of the of the sprues was the sharp creases on the skin, which just looks a little bit weird. So what I'm going to try and do and just see if we can kind of do it. I'm just going to take the knife and just take some of these creases off the edge of the crease. I'm going to go from one side like this to start. I mean, this one here, you can see this one has almost got a round crease already. I'll take a little bit of that edge off and then go from the other side and do the same. Now, I know this is probably a little bit OTT, but I've started trying to just take a little bit of time um, on certain models, uh, particularly the Tomb Kings recently, um, just trying to get them right for what I was trying to do. So I don't think this is going to take that long for 10 models. It just, just drops that crease off just a little bit. Actually, I quite like that. And then same here, we'll just take that crease off. Uh, we'll go from one side, like I say, we'll go from one side and then we'll go from the other side just to soften it a little bit. And there we go. So if you do want to be mad and insane and uh, and lower, <laughs> lessen the creases uh, like I'm doing here, then uh, feel free. That's how you do it. Just one side, then the other side, and just kind of round off that edge. So we've got the torsos built up here. Now, what I was saying earlier is, and one of the ways that I like building uh, a lot of the Games Workshop kits in terms of the, the um, units, is I build the torsos and then a lot of the time uh, all the arms just kind of fit on. So I'll kind of build and, and dynamically pose the models how I want. Um, so what I'll do is I'll build all the torsos. I tend to keep like the arms that are supposed to be with the torsos just together just in case uh, but then straight away I will see if some of the other arms for instance 
can fit in uh, just so we can have some variation some variety so they don't look like everybody else's uh, and things like that now I was having a look, as I was saying, I was having a look at the registration on the, the arms, and they all look roughly the same, and I was hoping that we would be able to kind of get them in. Now, there are some which, you, I mean, for instance, this one is not supposed to be for this torso. This one you could quite easily get to fit um, if you just cut that, that uh, peak off there. If you cut that peak of registration off the inside there, it would then fit on there, and you can kind of fill it with glue, and it would look fine. Um, but, like, that's... That's about the best one. Like the, none of these, none of these are actually fitting. Um, so they are very much like uh, that one. You could you could almost make these fit, but it's probably not worth the hassle. That one's not that far away, uh, as you can see. Uh, but again, you've still got some gaps here and there. Same with this one here as well. Look, that's doesn't 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 quite fit in. You could uh, drop that little square peg out uh, to kind of ease it and help it fit in a little bit uh, and if we try some of the ones from the other torsos you can see that they don't quite fit in and um, if we swap to this torso here so the registration is not it's not quite there if, if you are absolutely determined and you want to do some kind of variations and swaps yes you could quite easily do it you could drop the uh, drop cut the pegs off um, and just kind of uh, I would fill that with um, some of my glue uh, and just kind of drop it in and the glue would probably fill the gap sufficiently but ultimately that's not what that's not going to be the best way so I am going to build these uh, and actually that goes the same for the heads as well I thought the heads because the heads have got the exactly the same if you look the heads have all got exactly the same registration on it However, the heads are sculpted to fit around the torso. So this head here, uh, I went with my favourite head, the the no, the no mouth head uh, for starters. <laughs> uh, straight off, I was I got that one straight in there. Uh, so that one fits in there really really well. Uh, but if you go to one of the other ones, it doesn't fit in. Uh, and in fact, even if it does, it then kind of covers up the the uh, the arm socket. Um, so yeah, the heads unfortunately aren't interchangeable either. Um, and like you've got that one there which is perfectly positioned so that the arm comes out be between the hair and things so yeah everything basically what I'm trying to say is just follow the instructions <laughs> uh, which is which sounds silly but I very very rarely do I, I will when I'm going through and building my things like I say I tend to build the torsos uh, and then have all the torsos laid out and then build the models um, to look interestingly and cool um, as, as we get there but yeah there, 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 there's enough kind of variety and variation i think on the models anyway so i think we'll be all right but yeah if you were just wondering about that one uh, no the arms don't sit in and uh, swap so let's just grab some glue we're going to build this one here nice and quickly live on the recording so we'll add a little bit of glue into there uh, and that's that arm in there like that and we'll just add a little bit more because down underneath there we go and then the same on this arm here. Add some glue into that join. Doo -doo -doo. And then that fits in perfectly like that. There we go. Um, if you do want to get this glue, it is linked in the description along with all the other tools that I use. Um, I'm not affiliated with uh, the glue. I just It's just the best glue that I use. I have emailed them to try and get some uh, links with them, but uh, no reply. And... For the head, there we go. So all built up, and that is our first built mandrake. Who is just? They're just fucking cool. They are really good, uh, and you can also see that I, uh, I, I, I did kind of soften out. Uh, so the other thing is that after I'd softened it, I did just kind of run a little bit of glue over the surface just to soften it even more and take any of the uh, the knife scrape marks uh, the witness marks from the knife uh, out of it but uh, yeah there we go oh god look at that dude yeah i mean they they they, they were worth they were they were due a refresh weren't they uh, and they haven't half done them really really well so i'm very 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 much looking forward to doing these i want to uh, i want to get a little bit of 
kind of purple shadow going on in these and I don't know whether to do it at the bottom or the top so like paint it normally I think what I'll do is I'll paint it normally and then kind of glaze some purple shadows into the bottom as so as of as if they're kind of sinking into the shadows I think that would look really really cool but they are just absolutely stunning let's very very quickly build the other one uh, so I will clip my fingers and we'll have the other ones built uh, <laughs> the power of editing that is about the most editing you'll ever get on any of my videos um, but uh, yeah, I mean, look at them. They're just stunning. Um, faces look really, really cool. I, I was, I tried very, very hard not to put the no mouth heads on everything. Uh, I think this one's particularly good because he's got like the, the teeth are, the teeth are almost like part of the face rather than uh, part of the mouth. I don't know whether you can see that. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're just super, super, super cool. The sickle's amazing. So yeah, I'm going to build all of these. These are all going to be painted up for my Drakari army. Um, they are very, very good uh, in 40k at the moment. Um, I'm not sure what they are like in, in Kill Team just yet. I haven't had a flick through the rules, uh, but I will do. And uh, maybe I'll do another video. <laughs> maybe I'll do another video on how cool they are in Kill Team as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video, everybody. Uh, and there'll probably be a painting video to come. A very quick short painting tutorial on painting these badasses there we go thank you very much everybody i uh, hope you enjoyed the video please make sure you drop me a like and a subscribe uh, because it would be amazing and youtube algorithms good old ali gory uh, are very very helpful for the things like that and you can find me on twitch uh, pretty much every day of the week it's uh, twitch.tv forward slash chris frossin and you can find me uh, on all the other socials are just at chris frossin so uh, do that and you can find out ah, you can find out uh, when I've painted these up uh, what they're going to look like. So thank you very much. Take care and I will see you all later. And as always, bye.